Hi guys, I am DJ from Eco Car Cleaners. Hoppa, there we are. I'm gonna take you guys with me in my life as being a car cleaner. And the way I clean cars is using the power of steam. Let me tell you guys how it all got started. It was about, it was 2013 when I was traveling in, down in Australia. And I was going to a mall and when I drove in with my car, there was a guy and he asked me if I wanted to let my car clean. And I was just like, no, I don't let you get, I don't let you clean my car because I just like it too much doing it myself. But I just thought that the idea was brilliant. To YouTube, I found the Optima steamer. I thought this must be the way to clean cars. I thought I would be the first one in Holland, but there was a company that already got started Actually, they started pretty big. There were two guys, and they had, I, what I heard is they had some money from their fathers, and they had these vans with the steam cleaners in there. But they went bankrupt. So there was a chance for me. I started with a really old Fiat Fiorino and a secondhand steamer. I had to lend the money uh, from the bank. Uh, it was about 10,000 euros. So there was quite a lot of money for me in those days, and that's how it all got started. And now, six years later, I'm driving this nice caddy, which is almost mine because <laughs> I still have to pay a bit for it, something with financial lease. But I'm steaming, I'm still doing it with a big smile on my face. And I think that's the most important thing. Before I started this job, I was a salesman. I had a, a nice car, wear it up a suit, but I wasn't happy, man. I wasn't doing something that really put up a smile onto my face. And you know what? This job is. I mean, it's, it's April, guys. It's the best time of the year. Like spring is kicking in. But as well, we've got the coronavirus kicking in and what you see is that there's not as many uh, cars driving. So that means less cars, means less car washes. So I'm just happy with every customer I have at the moment. And it's also the only reason why I can get out of house instead of going to a supermarket. So in these days, I'm just blessed that I can at least um, get the road a little bit cleaner. First, have some coffee. You never know where you're gonna end up with this business. So sometimes coffee is good, sometimes you don't want to taste it. The best thing is to take something with you for yourself, man, for the whole day. When I was younger, I used to work as a car salesman. Just being nice to people to get their money off of them. Now people are just happy for like 80 to 100 euros. I mean, I get messages from them. You know what? That makes me happy again. It's so good to do a job. It actually makes people happy, you know, and that puts a smile up on my face, especially when the sun is shining. How do you start up your business, guys? Well, it all starts with finding the right name, and is it really important? I don't know, you know, it's just a name, but on the other hand, I have several names. Like my first company, I had to sell it because I was participating in a, in the Dutch TV live so some kind of thing like 24 7 so I couldn't go up with ha and having a company and being in that television show of course so I had to sell it and now I think this is the best name I came up with it's eco car cleaners because it's ecological people especially businesses they think it's really important in these days so I think I, I found the right name but that's only how it gets started then you have to get your clothes make sure the brands is are like like visual for them because it's, it's it's the way how you introduce you to your new client like now I'm going to a Porsche Panamera I don't know nothing about this 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 driver unless that it's uh, it's a guy and it, he's not even driving it I, I thought it's for its girlfriend or wife or whatsoever it doesn't matter the car has to be cleaned you know I have to be there on time I have to let them know that I'm almost there it's that's how the business gets started he has to he's gonna have his first impression about my company. So I better be, I better make sure that that impression is good. So I wanna smell good, my hair has to be good, my, my clothes has to be nice, my teeth. Yeah, I do brush my teeth, we're cleaners. Everything has to be nice. I mean, he's driving a Porsche. What do you expect to him now? <laughs> Only thing I do know, it's called Big Frank. And Big Frank is big. He's got a big car, and I'm just a small Dutch guy, so I better do some good work here, right? Right at our location, one big friend, 
second big friend. Steamer's up already. Up on pressure. Ready to rock. First head and doesn't look that dirty, but it's got a lot of swirls from the sun, as you can see when the car is still standing outside. So that means that we're gonna clean it with steam, but we're also gonna polish this car to make sure that those car wash swirls are out of this Porsche Panamera. You don't wanna drive around in a Porsche with car swirls, do you? No, of course not. We call Eco Car Cleaner. Average car wash uses about 350 liters of water. While using steam, you only use about four to five liters to clean a complete car. I have to notice it comes off really easily. It looks like it has been protected now, thanks to the client as well. I just hope. It would look like it was polished like really quick. I hope they didn't put a ceiling over the bed polishing work because then, even though the sun is shining, I get the feeling like this car has got a wax guard on it. So they probably just polished it too fast and put the wax guard over it. I hope that's what it is because then I can polish it off again. It's some more proof. It's the old wax. First start out in this business, take your time for it, man. I think about the first couple of cars, it took me about two, two and a half hours. Now, if I want to, I can clean the car inside and out in about one hour. It always depends on how dirty it is. Just bear in mind that like this whole side goes quicker than cleaning the wheels properly. And with this case, with cleaning with steam, you have to make a difference, man. They can go to the car wash for those big sides. But for these details, they need to come to you or you come to them. That's one of the big advantages of working at the customer's place. And does has a bit of swirls. First going for the heavy car. Um, this is Smartworks, this is CarTech. Uh, I'm going into the products later. But just to let you know, it's more important to have a good car washer that knows what it does instead of having the best product. So I'd rather have a good car washer with rubbish products instead of a, a bad car washer with good products. So the best in the end is to have a combination of both, of course. Start with this and finish with this. One thing I know for sure, I'd rather fix a car that has been into a car wash than to fix somebody else's messed up work because you can just tell they probably polished it too quick and then they protect it with some kind of wax guard. And now I have to clean up the mess. Let's hope for the best. So we are done polishing and I just have to cross my fingers that I did do a good, good job because the client that bought this car was not satisfied and I think he's got a good reason. So if he said to me, you clean this car properly, I can introduce you to the company and there are the big fish. I mean, the great clients with this car. So I do have to cross my fingers now that it's gonna be perfect. Yeah, another proof they used wax guard because it's like already getting white here. That's why I say either don't touch it or put a tape around it. Oh, that's better. After polishing, it's the protection. Why would be a fly? I would think it's white. Day cream. This is the sun protection for your car. So we also protect the wheels because nowadays these are the most important extras on a car.
Ja, wat zijn dat verhaal? Wat zijn dat verhaal? Ja, ik ben echt een werkspatie. Ik, ja. uh, ik sta hier naar PA Barrackers. <laughs> dat is een goed een beetje. Uh, je ziet wel, als ik die auto niet goed schoon heb gemaakt, dan heb ik een uh, wel probleem natuurlijk. Uh, ben je tevreden? Ik uh, ben tevreden, Tjoen. Oh, dat is echt fucking erg. Oh, gelukkig zeg. Nou, dan mag maar, je je ketting terug. Oh. Ik mocht het na een paar keer uh, wassen uh, in de volgende. Ja, dan kom je... weet ik wat te vinden natuurlijk. Hè? Oh, ja. Ja, ik heb het idee dat je me zo kan optillen als je wilt. Dat heb je helemaal goed. Ja, dat heb je heel goed. Dat is heel goed. Ik hou je lief te vriend, dat ja, weet ik wel. Dat is goed hoor. Hey, Dank je wel voor de opdracht. Jij ja, hartstikke bedankt. Ik ga nu heel snel wegrennen ja. met deze ketting. Ja. You definitely like cars. If you love to clean, if you want to learn more, make sure you subscribe or just press the button. And you sign up and you won't miss a thing. Thanks for watching Eco Car Cleaners. See you next time. Greetings from Holland. <laughs>